Hi there, it's Louise with you of Timeless Craft Mama, and today I'd like to share a scrapbook layout process video created for Scrapbook Boutique. And I've entitled this page Happy using one of the Coco Vanilla Studio Delicious uh, chipboard words. So I'm going to start with a couple of different elements, and the Simple Stories 12 by 12 paper pad is the first thing that inspired this layout. Now you can see as I flick through, it's got some really great um, paper in there. So stuff that you could use for layering or backgrounds, and honestly for the price of that paper pad, there is so much value. Now I've also taken a um, 12 by 12 white cardstock as well and uh, that's going to form the basis for the background. I've also chosen a stencil or a template, whatever you want to refer to them as, and some Color Blast products as well and I'm going to show you um, a couple of things that I'm going to do with those. So for this um, little section at the bottom, I wanted to sort of layer these papers and, and I'm just curling up the edges there just to create sort of um, a messy border. Now I'm using the Sing in the Blues um, Shimmer Pot from Color Blast. And an important thing to remember with these pots is once you've opened them and activated them with water, leave the lids off. So they will dry out again, but you don't want the product to get mouldy. So you want to leave the lid off after you've added the water to allow the product to dry out and be ready for you to use again. So I've coloured just a little freehand strip um, along the bottom of the page where uh, that little border is going to go. And I'm going to use the same papers just to mount my photo. So I didn't actually go into this um, anticipating a... Um, black and white and blue coloured page, it was just that those were the products that jumped out at me and that's where I ended up. Now, going ahead and using one of my favourite um, colours from the Colour Blast range is the Deep Water. So I'm using the colour paste through the Seven Dots uh, Honeycomb stencil and I'm just going to apply that around the area where my photo is going to go. I also did decide to add some into that um, bottom right hand corner. Now once that's dried naturally, because um, personally I don't like to use the heat gun on my Colour Blast products, or any products really, I like to let them dry naturally. Um, I think that that gives them a, sort of a, a much better finish on the page, but do whatever your preference is. So secondary to the colour that I've put through with the paste, I'm going to use that shimmer pot again and I'm going to add some of that into the background. So you'll see some of it I've done with the packaging technique and some of it I've done just freehand with the brush. A couple of little splatters to bring sort of that messy background um, into place and I'm going to start to put together the final embellishing. Now this is the Carabell Time to Time background stamp that I'm using just with black permanent ink and this has uh, turned out to be one of my favourite stamps. I'm not a big stamper, you'll know that if you've watched any of my videos, um, but I do like to occasionally if I'm, I'm building a bit of a mixed media background I like to add some stamping in there. and. Since I got this Carabell stamp, I have actually experimented a little bit with um, some of the different ways to stamp and use mixed media products and things like that. So if you're not a big stamper, certainly um, you know try and think about using stamps in a different way. Now, I've put a little cluster together there as well. I'm going to add some journaling and I decide that I'm actually going to put it on this little banner and I'm going to run it sideways. So not something that I would normally do. And I apologise because I did have a little bit of trouble finding a black pen that would actually write. So I did throw a few in the bin while creating this video um, and just adding the journaling uh, so my journaling um, is uh, something that I struggle with but I try to put it on the page because I think that one day I may not remember what they were actually about. So even if you journal on the back of your page, don't forget how important. Now uh, I have stopped recording this video but you'll see in this final page that I've added a couple of little extra elements and stickers and some washi to help balance it out. 
hopefully you've enjoyed that video from me. Thank you so much for watching and of course check out Scrapbook Boutique.